was recruited, I actually went to work for CIA in 1947, after my clearances went through. At that time, you didn't even breathe that you worked for CIA. I'm almost embarrassed to say I hardly knew I was applying for CIA. I, I thought it was going to the State Department. And a uh, uh, man told me to come back later, he wanted to talk to me, but gave me an address at 2430 East Street, which turned out to be CIA. And I filled in the papers, and I didn't hear anything, and I didn't know anything about clearances or anything. But then my clearances came through to call me in November 1947 to come to work for them. I happened to have a good memory, and we didn't have computers at that time. And I pretty much handled all the documents that came into agency. So people come around and say, have you seen such and such report? Yeah, and had it. Well, they got me started as a documents librarian. We started outgrowing a house, so we had to get another house. We said, well, the agency was talking about trying to find a location for the big building, which is in Langley now. And they were going back and forth. We didn't know where they go build in Langley, where they go build in, in Fort uh, Meade, or, or exactly where they go build. So we bought a house in Greenbelt on a contract with the contingency that if the agency decided to move over to Maryland, over to Virginia, I'd be able to cancel a contract. So we had everything scheduled, but the house about would take about a year to build. So in order to put the down payment, we chose the colors of the house, the colors of the, uh, within reason that you had to, since they were kind of uh, similar type homes, uh, you got to choose the colors of the refrigerators and the, and the roof and shingles. and the, So uh, um, all of a sudden, the agency decided to build the headquarters in Langley. Supposedly, a big story was, and we have always doubted this, that somebody had to fly over that, one of the builders, one of the people that were responsible. They looked down and they thought, hey, that's a nice place to build. Just happened to be in Langley. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, uh, at that point, I canceled the contract because remember, the Beltway wasn't built, the, uh, the uh, Washington Baltimore Parkway was just uh, was being completed. Actually, we could use a portion of Baltimore Parkway, uh, but the uh, this side, the uh, circle hadn't been built. And I started, started thinking, I'm going to have to go all the way through Washington to get out the lake. Of course, it took a couple of years to build. So I started thinking, I canceled the contract with them and got my money back after, after a while. They weren't too happy, but they were selling the houses. They didn't have a real problem. One day I happened to go by the bulletin board and looked and there was a house for sale in Vienna. In the meantime, we looked in Virginia, looked all over, trying to find something on uh, a house range. Now at that time we had three children and Lois was expecting a fourth, Vicky. So um, uh, we came out to see the house and Lois was expecting, it was really hard for her to get up the steps. That's how close it was to the baby born. As it was, she, the baby was born and, and Vicky was born in Prince George Hospital, and that was our new house in Cherry Street, 212 Cherry Street. When we came over, I noticed a lot of young children on the block. In fact, there were children all over the place, which really set the, made the children happy. We had a big yard. Uh, 212 Cherry Street is <coughs> back of Magruder's, a huge block. And uh, a nice little house. 